Hey guys, hope you're good today. And today I would like to talk about Tila, do a little bit of a little review about her, and uh, why is she she is actually a great character. Now um, Tila has a little bit of uh, interesting and a little bit confusing past, cause um, she actually the the name itself is Tila, warrior goddess. Now, uh, why is this? Um, if I remember correctly, um, on the comics, actually, Tila was a clone. Actually, Skeletor actually cloned the goddess, and then Tila was made, basically. That's, um, that's why it's sometimes a little bit confusing. Also, that's why she has the um, snake armor. Now, um, before, on the comics, if I remember uh, she was actually sorcerers basically uh, she was the one that gave all the magical weapons to he man and uh, basically she, she was the keeper of um, Grace Gold Castle so that's why it's a little bit confusing the, char the character itself now um, the way that they did Tila on the action figures is they put the armor and the staff to be a sorceress and also if you remove the armor you can see Tila as a warrior itself so that's why in the past it's a little bit more confusing uh, where Tila actually comes from or if she's a warrior or she's a sorcerer so that's that's basically basically why now this figurine the height of it is 14 centimeters so it's um, quite average if we compare it to another one they, it's a really good size for it oh and also I wanted to say this artwork is insane you can see there you have He-Man well Tila is actually slashing a little bit of Merman uh, but you can see even the king and the queen on the back I think all of these artwork for all these figurines, they're amazing, they're really great, well done, and I think that's just one adds up more of why I love this collection. Now we, if we see here, if we remove, well this is Tila the Goddess, but if we remove the armor, Now that's Tila the Warrior. Beautiful color. I think it was done quite great. What is interesting in some of the uh, vintage um, toys, you can see that the boots don't match with the hair. Normally they do the same color of the boots and the hair, but in this one they actually make them different and that's actually really good everything's nice and articulate you can move them up and down one to the side and uh, yeah I, th I think it looks amazing it's one of the characters that I like also a lot besides you know him and Skeletor but I think overall this um, figurine it looks amazing the colors are brighter compared to other collections and the uh, history on her is, is it's quite cool to be honest and well this is just a small quick review of Tila I just received her and uh, I'm actually gonna do a couple more that I just received uh, if you have any comment any suggestion just let me know and well have a great day